What's up? I'm travel photographer Brendan Vanson of brendansadventures.com and on this episode I'm going to be reviewing some cactus flashes. So before I jump into the video, I want to apologize because it's a little bit of a ghetto lighting and sound setup right now. I have the lav mic on, but it's rush hour outside here in Lima, Peru, and they love honking the horn. That's the national pastime is horn honking. It's also dark here. Um, I got my photo workshop starting soon, as in I'm picking people up at the airport in an hour and I wanted to knock out this video. So um, I'm kind of ghetto with my lighting setup, just using this lamp here and the ambient light in the hotel room, which is a bit cavernous, but we do what we can out on the road with our lighting system. Speaking of lighting systems, I now have a cactus flash lighting system. Back when I was in Canada this winter in December, I headed into my local um, camera shop in Calgary, Canada called Sunil Cameras. And I asked, do you guys know of an off camera flash setup that's affordable and also really quality? Because those two things in, flash, in the flash world don't often happen. And they recommended these cactus flashes. And so I decided to test them out. And I have to say, from a travel photography standpoint, from my usage standpoint, I absolutely love them. They offer me versatility and quality and a really good price. So let's go into it, let's review it. Um, but first I'm going to show you how they work. So these are two RF, RF60 cactus flashes. These are pocket strobes and they're quite powerful. They're quite well made. Um, they're plastic, but it's good quality plastic. And then this is a transceiver here. That's um, the V6 model. And this is the game changer when it comes to cactus flash. Generally, when you're shooting off camera flash, you need to stick a pocket wizard transceiver, pocket wizard or other brand transceiver up top on your hot shoe and then another one on your flash. For every flash you have, you need to set up another pocket wizard, which can get expensive because they're like $99 each one of them. So if you have say four or five flashes, it can get quite expensive. The reason this is a game changer is you no longer need um, that pocket wizard on your camera. This will actually trigger flashes from all sorts of brands. Not only will it fire the other cactus flashes, but it'll fire Canon, it'll fire Nikon, it'll fire Sony flashes, and it'll even fire the off-brand flashes from companies like Metz and, and Yangnuo and things like that. So that's fantastic. That's the reason that this is such a popular item and such a great item for people that have a variety of different brands of flashes because you can really shoot a bunch of different brands of flash at once just using this without pocket wizards and I think that's awesome. So let's jump into how this works and how you can use this system. So if we take the transceiver and we put it on the hot shoe of my, of my Canon 6D and we turn it on, basically this is going to control all the flashes that I want and it's radio triggered as well which is amazing because it means that i'm not going to get obstructed by objects it doesn't need a direct line of sight to the flashes it also means that the distance it can fire is extreme i can basically shoot my camera here with a flash across a football stadium or across a football field and it will still fire the flash which is really good and it's also really consistent i've not had it fail on me once and i think that's unbelievable so what you're going to do is you turn this on and we're gonna just turn on this right flash here, um, back here. Now, I should, get, I should say this before, these are manual flashes. They're not full feature flashes. And if you don't know the difference, there's a link to a video from SLR Lounge that I watched a couple weeks ago that explains the difference between full feature versus manual flashes in a really simple way. Um, but manual flashes are simple. You just control the power and the zoom in the back directly. Um, there's no TTL function, which means that your camera and the flash aren't communicating to figure out an exposure. You have to do that yourself. If you're shooting a lot of on camera flash that can be a little bit cumbersome a little bit annoying to do but if you're doing mostly off camera flash it doesn't matter anyway does it so um, yeah this is now set up I've put it to group A and it's going it's set to fire at let's put it at 128th just to give it a soft burst and then on here on the transceiver we just press the A on the top of the camera and we fire it and this flash will fire it's that simple so you see it fire. 
One of the really cool things about this system is that I can actually control the power of a cactus flash right here in the transceiver without having to go across the room to change, um, change the flash, which is especially handy if the flash is somewhere like up high, you don't have to bring the boom or the flash stand down to do it, you can do it right in camera. So now if I just wanna go to full power, I just spin this dial here, and then uh, now this camera will, this flash will say full power. So set it up for full power, now it's gonna blast off full power. Except it doesn't because I pressed something wrong. I accidentally pressed the mode button when I went to grab it. So now it's set up again on slave mode, and at full power it's gonna fire. So there it's correct. If you wanna shoot two flashes, both in the same group, you just flip on your second flash, you make sure it's in slave mode, you make sure it's in group A. So it's set on slave. Okay, so we're gonna set this up the exact same way and you just hit B. And hitting B will turn that on. I'm gonna set these both to full power. And now both flashes go off. Now if I wanna control one flash with the different power than the other, again, I can do that all right on, ca on camera here. So you just hit A to turn off A, and now we can adjust B down to like the lowest power, 128th. Hit A, A is still gonna shoot full power, B is gonna shoot now 128th. And that's fantastic because it just is so, so easy to use, especially out in the field. If you want to set things up, you can really control two flashes without having to do um, any manipulating to the flashes themselves. Um, okay, so let's turn this off. And these flashes, these RF60s actually can, they obviously work on camera like any pocket flash would as well. So if we put this on, let's turn this one off. slide it onto our hot shoe. We can now set it up to um, L mode and shoot at one over 16th and it's gonna fire. These flashes shoot from 24 at the widest, widest range all the way to 120, or 105 millimeters, which is more zoom. So obviously if you're, shooting 120, or if you're shooting 24 millimeters, it's gonna give you a wide burst of light. If you're shooting 105, it's gonna give you a really narrow focused um, light. So you can go 24 to 105. You've also got the pop-up bounce flash and you've got the, this little thing which spreads out the flash even more to give you even a wider burst. So one of the cool things about these flashes isn't just that you can use it on camera, but I can actually use it on camera as a master to trigger other cactus flashes. So let's turn the other flash back on. We're gonna set this one to slave mode. And then we're gonna change this mode to master. And if I fire, both of these flashes will now fire. So it's pretty fantastic, and like I said at the start of the video, what I love about these flashes is the versatility. I can go one flash on without having to use a transceiver. I can use two flashes off camera, I can use one camera on camera, I can use one camera off, fla off flash, and it's all incredibly good value. Um, there's links to these products below in the description of the video, so if you're interested in purchasing them or trying them out, you can do that. But the basic price is for the V6 transceiver, which will control any flash, I think 65 different types of flash, $69.95. That's all that costs. So even compared to just one pocket wizard, it's cheaper. Um, these RF60 flashes, they run $174.95, I believe, or something right around there. You can also get a package that includes one flash and one transceiver for like $199. I mean, that's absolute value. I think the cheapest manual flashes you can buy these days are about $79.99. Um, the quality ones are about $150. So it's right in line with the quality manual flashes and it's because it is a quality manual flash I can't tell you how happy I am about these flashes. I'm so glad I picked them up and they're definitely gonna be a part of my kit for a really long time. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Really, I give these this product four stars, five stars, as many stars as possible, just because one, they're valuable, they're, they're really great value, and two, they're incredibly versatile. 
And yeah, they work great. They work fantastic. I haven't had any problems. The recycle time is quick. The flash power is, is right up there with all the really good um, pocket strobes. And the transceiver is just an absolute game changer, as I've mentioned. I'm going to be uh, popping off some images, a couple images that I've shot over the past two or three months using these flashes now as I give you my outro speech. Um, as I mentioned, I'm here in Lima running a photography workshop that's 14 days. I'm going to be running another travel photography workshop here in Peru and Bolivia in July. So if you're interested in joining me there, you definitely should. It's going to be a blast. We're going to Machu Picchu, Cusco, Lake Titicaca, Potosi, Bolivia, the Uni Salt Flat. It's just an absolute photography gold mine and a really good time. So there's information right around me if you want to join me. And if you can't join me for whatever reason, I hope you continue to follow me on this channel. I've got videos from this photography workshop in Peru coming up, as well as a video from Ecuador, Baños de Agua Santa, where I got into all sorts of adventure. And it should be fun, so stay subscribed to the channel and I'll catch you next time. Peace. Speaking of lighting systems, I now have a cactus flash lighting system. Back when I was in Canada this winter in December, I headed into my local um, camera shop in Calgary, Canada called Sunil Cameras and I asked, do you guys know of an off-camera flash setup that's affordable and also really quality because those two things in flash in the flash world don't often happen and they recommended these cactus flashes and so I decided to test them out and I have to say from a travel photography standpoint from my usage standpoint I absolutely love them they offer me versatility and quality and a really good price so let's go into it let's review it um, but first I'm going to show you how they work so and we turn it on. Basically, this is going to control all the flashes that I want. And it's radio triggered as well, which is amazing because it means that I'm not going to get obstructed by objects. It doesn't need a direct line of sight to the flashes. It also means that the distance it can fire is extreme. I can basically shoot my camera here with a flash across a football stadium or across a football field and it will still fire the flash, which is really good. And it's also really consistent. I've not had it fail on me once. And I think that's unbelievable. So what you're gonna do is you turn this on and we're gonna just turn on this right flash here, um, back here. Now, I should, get, I should say this before, these are manual flashes. They're not full feature flashes. And if you don't know the, these are two RF, RF60 cactus flashes. These are pocket strobes and they're quite powerful. They're quite well made. Um, they're plastic, but it's good quality plastic. And then this is a transceiver here. That's um, the V6 model. And this is the game changer when it comes to cactus flash. Generally, when you're shooting off camera flash, you need to stick a pocket wizard transceiver, pocket wizard or other brand transceiver up top on your hot shoe and then another one on your flash. For every flash you have, you need to set up another pocket wizard, which can get expensive because they're like $99 each one of them. So if you have say four or five flashes, it can get quite expensive. The reason this is a game changer is you no longer need um, that pocket wizard on your camera. This will actually trigger flashes from all sorts of brands. Not only will it fire the other cactus flashes, but it'll fire Canon, it'll fire Nikon, it'll fire Sony flashes, and it'll even fire the off-brand flashes from companies like Metz and, and Yangnuo and things like that. So that's fantastic. That's the reason that this is such a popular item and such a great item for people that have a variety of different brands of flash because you can really shoot a bunch of different brands of flash at once just using this without pocket wizards and I think that's awesome. So let's jump into how this works and how you can use this system. So if we take the transceiver and we put it on the hot shoe of my of my Canon 6D. What's up, I'm travel photographer Brendan Vanson of brendansadventures.com and on this episode I'm going to be reviewing some cactus flashes. So before I jump into the video, I want to apologize because it's a little bit of a ghetto lighting and sound setup right now. I have the lav mic on, but it's rush hour outside here in Lima, Peru, and they love honking the horn. 
that the national pastime is horn honking. It's also dark here. Um, I get my photo workshop starting soon, as in I'm picking people up at the airport in an hour and I wanted to knock out this video. So um, I'm kind of ghetto with my lighting setup, just using this lamp here and the ambient light in the hotel room, which is a bit cavernous. But we do what we can out on the road with our lighting system. 